Oh, we're rolling. Oh, yes. Well, I wish I had the little red blinky light, but it doesn't. Yeah, no red blinky light. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to DC Predator. Today, we wanted to show you one of our new toys. It's the latest offering from Arkin Optics. Cameron, what is this? This is the Zulus, okay? This is their newest offering, like Ken said. This is their day night scope. You guys have seen it's everywhere and it's nowhere at the same time. This thing is light, compact, and durable. You guys have seen on our feed, um, a lot of those kill shots, if you see the reticle in the kill shot video, those are all filmed on here. This is the Zulus HD 5-20X. This is not their laser range finder version. So the one you're currently seeing in the videos is not the laser range finder version. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing, um, quality wise and video specs wise. And even the, the variable zoom wise is the same, right? Yep, just add the uh, range finder, which is a nice add. Believe me, you can see the range finder, the readout right inside the, the screen when you're looking through your optic comes in very handy, especially for when we're shooting like 300 blackout subs. Mm -hmm. uh, we really need to know the range because uh, you, know, you know the drops on your ballistics and stuff. So It'll calculate your dope when you range it. So like when we're shooting our subs and stuff, Big, big money maker right there. Um, for us right now, this has been awesome. Um, let me check their website. I looked earlier today. It says $649.99 for this one. If you get the one with the laser range finder, that is $933. So a little over $900. This guy is $650 for the one without the laser range finder. But if you use the discount code COYOTE, oh, yes. you get 25% off. Don't forget to use that. 25% on. I gotta take off my shoes to you count math? that. I need some math. You do some math. Hey Siri, what's 25% of $650? It's $162.50. I don't think that's right. Hey Siri, what's 25% off $650? It's $487.50. That sounds a lot better. $487.50. When you use our code, $487. Under 500 bucks, man. You could, uh, you could really uh, spend a whole lot more money on optics in this category. Something this quality for under 500 bucks, that's a smoking deal. Totally. Totally agree. Um, we've been using this thing for a little over a month now. Um, we've put it through the absolute ringer. We have put this thing through dirt, dust, mud, actually. It rained in Arizona, shocker. I dropped mine crossing the barbed wire fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's fine it's held zero the, all that to say it's held zero it's durable and right now we're going to show you the unboxing and after that we're going to show you the first hunt that we took it on hopefully you enjoy it got some foam insert instruction manual right out, the, right out the gate probably their lens cloth comes in most of their stuff yep Lens cloth. You got Allen wrench set with, with your fixed screws for your mount. Here's your zero MOA mount. Right here, that's gonna be that's gonna be key right there. And here's the uh, here's the optic for us. So you got controls on the top. Power setting, brightness, um, IR illuminator, the brightness there. Here's record, long press and record for that guy. This glass objective right here, that is your IR illuminator. Flip up cap right there. Right here is going to be your focus, this knob right here. So if you're taking video, you need stuff to be in focus or whatever. Um, on the side, it looks like we got a pick rail. This cap has the Arkin logo on it. You open that, and then you have a US uh, a C port right there, and an SD card, a micro SD. So if you guys are want to get your footage, that's that's where you're gonna get your footage right there. Take that micro SD card, throw it in any adapter into your computer or what have you. But that's how you get your footage. You can also use the Wi-Fi feature, download footage to your phone. Um, but I, I like using the SD card because it's a little bit faster. All right, guys. Here's the funny story. So we were at shot last week. I ended up getting sick. I was sick this whole week. But at shot, Arkin released their Zulus right here. Um, 
grabbed a couple of those. We're trying them out today. They got shipped to our house this afternoon. Ken and the other boys went this morning to go hunt. They were hoping to get these, to test out these Zuluses, but uh, they didn't get here in time. So once they, once they arrived, I said, hey, let's go out on an afternoon stand. Because number one, I got FOMO, fear of missing out that I didn't get to go in the morning. And number two, I am feeling a little better. So I told Ken, you've down for round two. And of course, Ken was down. So here we are. Um, we're in an area that's pretty local, that's, uh, that's close to where we, we like to hunt. So we got this thing sighted in. We're set it down. We had a lot of rain this last week. It's really, really wet. Um, I don't know if the coyotes are going to want to come through the mud. We're going to have to figure out where they're coming from. But we're just going to sit down. We're going to try it. We don't have much time, like, like I said. Um, Ken got home from, from a morning hunt, so we only have a couple hours. So we're going to see if we can get it done. MFK, some of his breeding sounds, and then um, cottontail candy. So I'll start cottontail candy. I'll work into some breeding, and then we'll eventually hit bull squeaks. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was fast. He's on the left. He's left. I'm gonna hit record. I am recording. Right there. Like I said, it rained a lot. Could be funny if there's another one that's still coming and should have waited in the stand longer. Every time that I finish the stand, I always wonder if I should have waited longer. Well, so here's the shot here. So, obviously I had to poke this guy in the, in the forehead. I'm shooting that 17 HMR and that's pretty much where I'm trying to put it. It's right in the dome. It's usually the quickest, most humane way to do it. It's a fun stand. He came in fast. And uh, luckily he stopped in, in the lane where we were able to get the shot off. I was worried we weren't going to be able to do it. Got him on the long walk back. It's a pretty dog. We got female. Really pretty coat for AZ winter, but let's see. It's not a yoy. It's probably a two-year-old coyote. Got some blood on me. Pretty dog. Look at them feet, dude. Obviously, they don't care about the mud. He's been prouncing around the mud. It's one thing that we've been noticing is after the rain that these coyotes are out and hunting because they push up all these the animals that live in the ground any rodents and stuff like that they get flushed up and so they're out on top of the top of the ground and it's just pretty much fish in a barrel for these coyotes so we have seen that it doesn't shock me but there's like standing water out here you can see there's literally i had to drag that coyote through this water and uh i don't know if they care to go through it but he obviously didn't mind it, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully you can see it on camera.